And let's go ahead and go fourth and four here on the 22 yard line. My opponent's going to go ahead and throw it right to my squad for a pick six. Just like that. Come on, my man. What are you doing out here? Hey guys, I'm Lucky Mo back here for another video, guys. Welcome back to the episode of my No Money Spend Squad series. Just like always, guys, we're gonna start off this video with an upgrade, with upgrades on the squad. You know, kind of like an auction block type of video, and then we'll go into the gameplays after this, and of course, then we'll cover you know all the gameplay of this squad, what the squad was. I have two gameplays with the squad. You will see that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for those gameplays. But let's go ahead and start off with upgrading the squad a little bit, and again. The gameplays you'll see will not be these upgrades. So hopefully that makes sense. So starting off right away, I want to start off with a quarterback. I want to get a new quarterback. At the moment, of course, I have 106,000 coins. I want to go ahead and upgrade that position. I don't really like having Drew Brees. Again, his immobile, uh, his uh, non-mobile ability is killing me. So this is going to be Jared Goff. Obviously, he's too much coins. But we got Drew Brees, Jared Goff. Wow, it's surprisingly enough, Jared Goff's actually better. No wonder a lot of people rock with this team of the week, Jared Goff. He's actually better than Drew Brees, <laughs> which is kind of fun. I know he's plus four overall, but I'm just saying, like, stat for stat-wise, he's actually a lot better. Not just his speed is making up for that. Uh, Randall Cunningham, obviously, would be an ideal pickup if we had more coins. Um, I would definitely rec I would definitely go ahead and go for him. We can actually see if we can go ahead and build him. For 106. I doubt we can build him for that cheap. But we can go ahead and try to see if we can build any of these uh, legends for pretty cheap. So let me go ahead and get out my trusty dot, uh, trust trusty calculator. Try to say something else that I can put a fail on that. So this is one random 88 plus overall. Not including a uh, full legend set. So pretty much if you guys do not know this used to be 87 overall legend guaranteed. Now it's 88 plus which I don't really think that makes any difference. I guess 88s do go for a tad bit more, so that might be why. But let's go ahead and take a look at Randall Cunningham. How much does he cost to complete? His 91 overall is 105k and 300 some k. Okay, cool. Um, we have 47k, so I'm not going to be able to complete his card. Now, what does his 91 look like? 79 speed. Actually, not a bad card to be honest. So we could go ahead and rock with this card and then slowly upgrade him down the line. Now, according to Mutthead, let me go ahead and see what Mutthead has his price at to make sure this is not a ridiculous, crazy, outrageous price. I don't think it is. I mean, he should still have some value to him, even though he is technically, you know, not the most current quarterback legend. Let's go ahead and see what his price is on Mutthead. So, Randall Cunningham on Mutthead is about 70,000 coins. So, this is 30k more than he actually goes for. His stats are not that bad, but to be honest, I probably could get someone for a lot cheaper for a better budget. And I can go ahead and upgrade more than one position. So, Randall Cunningham, definitely a great option, but... I feel like at this moment, especially with how we're playing, we're not playing where we need a, you know, like we need a quarterback or else we're done. I mean, we need an offense, and offense obviously revolves around the quarterback, but it's not like we 100% need it. Um, you know, like it's not a game changer at this point. 138K, it's not too much coins. I could definitely save up coins to get him. Um, so tell me down below guys what you guys are thinking when it comes to quarterback So we could go ahead and get Jerome Bettis That would be a very solid, you know halfback to go ahead and pair up with Alex Collins and definitely a monster and a half to deal with a 94 trucking having the bus on the field is always a great idea to do um, we could go ahead and get a star receiver. Now, quarterback-wise, let's go ahead and see what quarterback. Now, I'm not guarantee I'm going to pick up a quarterback this video. I just want to go ahead and take a look at some of them. Maybe I'll go ahead and wait till next video, but mm, I'm pretty much ready to pull the trigger on the quarterback here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at 91 to 90. 90 to 91. And again, I'm okay with spending all the coins I have here on the quarterback, especially because I do need to go ahead and pick up one. Um, 90 overall, 85 speed. Oh, okay. Not the worst quarterback in the world. Definitely can, I can make do with this Randall Cunningham. That speed is going to be beautiful to play with. Although those stats, other than his speed, are going to be kind of suspect. Uh, Dakota Prescott, what do we got with Dakota? Dakota got, okay, I'm just going to call him Dak, but I like to call him Dakota. 
It's, it's funny. Anyway, so Dak Prescott, we got 82 speed, 86. See, his stats will definitely have a lot. Nice speed. I can work with that speed, and I can work with those throwing stats. Definitely a very, very nice card. And Mike, oh, as he just sells. Okay, so was that a snipe? That was actually a snipe. Wow, I should have, when I was not paying attention, I should have went ahead and bought him right away. I might go ahead and just pick up this card. Oh, wait, Michael Vick, 86. No, those throwing stats. <laughs> those throwing stats are definitely not going to do. Um, Cam Newton at 105,000 coins. 105,000 coins. 84 speed. Mm. I might go ahead and go with Cam Newton, actually. I don't know. I mean, I, I definitely love using Cam. I just feel like he is a big body, you know, to play with. And he's definitely a monster to deal with. And that speed is going to be very, very helpful. Now, again, looking at him compared to, you know, the uh, Dak Prescott, 82 speed to 84 speed, 86 throw power to plus 5 to that. And, of course, uh, uh, Dak has a lot better throwing stats. So, mm, Cam Scram. I... Hate to do this because, you know, paying that much for a quarterback is a lot to pay for a quarterback. But 105K, can we do it? I think we can. We have to get a quarterback, guys. I'm telling you, again, I'm a West Coast type of offense. I can't work with an immobile quarterback like a Drew Brees. And this is actually an upgrade. You know, it's actually an upgrade to our Drew Brees. So, big upgrade. Was it worth it? Maybe, maybe not. But I definitely feel like, you know... I love to have Cam Newton in the squad. He's one of my favorite players, so I love to see him on the squad. So throwing stats wise, they're not the best, but I'll definitely make do with them. And Cam Scram, you you're gonna bet any, anything in the world. I'm gonna be going ahead and running around a lot with Cam Newton. So I'm gonna be getting my money's worth when it comes to just running around and trying to evade people and score touchdowns. So again, had to get a mobile quarterback, and you know when, when it comes to mobile quarterbacks, usually you have to pay them up. Uh, Top dollar premium prices for them, and that's just how it works. I probably should wouldn't have with Dak Prescott, but we'll have to wait and see how this turns out next gameplay. So, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the gameplays for today with this no money spent squad. We got two gameplays with this whole entire squad, as you can see, with all the playoff cap or not captains, but legend or ca playoff elites without Cam with Drew Brees in the system. So, let's go ahead and see what we can go ahead and do in the gameplays. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys. So now getting into the gameplay part of things, as you can see right here, this is all squad, and this is going to be all opponent squad. Now, by the title of this video, you can tell either one of these two gameplays is going to be a complete blowout, and I'm just going to tell you this right now, guys. I try my best to record, like, I'll play, like, six or seven of games with this squad just to try to go ahead and, you know, get a good gameplay for you guys. And I'm telling you this right now, it's not easy. If you guys have not seen my live stream with this squad, Go check it out. Pretty much what happened was I just a whole entire game, both games I played on live stream, I blew both of my opponents out by 21 plus points. And it's just something that I don't know why. It's not like my team is that great. It's only 86 overall. But no matter who I play against, it seems like I always go ahead and just blow them out. So I'm trying my best not to. In in some degree, in some of these games, I'm actually trying my best to literally let my opponent score sometimes just to make it a little bit more interesting just to make it a little bit more fun and it seems like sometimes my opponent will fuse to score or somehow he'll end up throwing a pick six as my next opponent will do in the next gameplay but again as you can see just like that I am up seven nothing and my opponent does get the ball back and he's gonna go ahead here and take another sack so pretty much my defensive line after getting all those free 89 plus overall playoff elites my defensive line is just freaking stacked to the brim with all bunch of studs as you right here they cause a fumble we get it back and just like that up seven nothing next play later we throw a touchdown pass to fun chess and we're up 14 nothing so you can already tell the part of this game and how this game is going to go already now with that in mind guys if you all are new here this is my no money spent squad pretty much the premise is we are not spending money i just joined i just you know really started dedicating myself to the squad just about um i would say about two weeks ago and the squad is already an 86 overall. No money spent, nothing spent, just going ahead and buying the game and pre-ordering it. And that's all I got from, you know, that. Right here, I could have hit X for a free touchdown. I decided to go ahead and throw it deep there to Alex Collins for a touchdown. And that will end that first gameplay. Again, I'm not trying to just show blowouts, but... 
I will record seven or eight games, and this is what happens every single game. So it kind of sucks, but I want to bring gameplay to you guys of this squad and show it off. And it's just, if we're going to blow out every single person, we're going to have to go ahead and just blow out every single person. Eventually, we will play better people once we go ahead and rank up in seasons and we start playing better opponents. But at this moment, we're just going to be blowing out everyone until we, unless we do stupid collapses like we did uh, in our last video of of the biggest collapse in my history. So fourth and four here, as you can see, my opponent is going to go ahead and go for it. And he's going to go ahead and make the dumb, dumb mistake of throwing it right to my team. And Shaq Thompson's going to go ahead and get a pick six. Just like that, we go ahead and go up in this game. Six to nothing after missing the extra point. Now, next drive later, he's going to go ahead and throw another pick six. My opponent, for some reason, likes to throw to my defense more than he likes to throw to his offense. So second down and one here. And what's going to happen? He's going to throw across the middle of the field and actually complete the ball to his team instead of giving my team another pick six. To be honest, I was kind of a uh, feel for there that he was going to throw another pick six. But to be honest, luckily he was, he did not go ahead and do that. Right here, he's going to end up losing some yards, sorry, gaining some yards, I believe. Third down and 14, he dots me up on the left hand side, gets down the field to the 49 yard line. Third down and three here, and my opponent is going to go ahead and have all day to throw it. And then he's going to end up taking a sack, bringing up fourth down and 14, where he will go ahead and go for it and go ahead and just throw a stupid, uh, what's that? He almost gets sacked, so he just throws it away right there. First down and 10 here. And I just throw it up to fun chest. Why not? I mean, to be honest, I did not feel my opponent at all. So I decided just to score a free touchdown. Throw it up to the fun chest and see what I can do. So guys, that's pretty much it for the two gameplays. Saw that they were both blowouts. But again, my opponents did not give me any kind of competition. I played a lot of people that I just don't show on, you know, here because... I blow most, mostly I blow them out. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.